I respond when you say my name. It's changing our lives at head-spinning speed. I can provide information. Telling us what movies we'd like to watch, what products we might like to buy. Virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa are becoming more like conversation partners. Not an actual person, but you can still talk to me. Answering questions, controlling our devices, ordering things for us online. AI is even keeping our cars in their driving lanes and helping doctors diagnose diseases and prescribing treatments. If you're not having some degree of future shock here, you're not really paying attention. We're entering a brave new world, but is it a safe one? <laughs> These two Carnegie University professors have issued a warning about online chatbots like ChatGPT. In a paper headlining in the New York Times, they've demonstrated that guardrails designed to prevent systems from disseminating dangerous information can easily be circumvented. You can ask then uh, ChatGPT or one of these open source AI models, uh, how do I make a bomb? And they'll tell you. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Professor Zico Coulter and Matt Friedrichsen show me just how easy it can be to produce a so-called jailbreak breaking through safeguards and generating harmful information. Ask GPT how to build a bomb, steal someone's identity, or create a dangerous social media post, it will say, quote, I'm sorry, I can't assist with that request. But apply what the professors call a simple workaround, and ChatGPT will supply you all the details. You have a model, it has certain guardrails to prevent it from you know, doing things that its creators didn't want it to do, and, and we've shown that uh, those guardrails aren't sufficient, right? You can break them. These vulnerabilities can make it easier for humans to use the AIs for all sorts of dangerous purposes generating hate speech or fake social media posts to spread false information, something the authors fear in the upcoming presidential election, increasing our divisions and making all information suspect. I think the biggest risk of all of this isn't that we believe all the false information, it's that we stop trusting information, period. I think this is already happening to a degree. At the same time, the authors are not doomsdayers, but say people need to beware. They're concerned that without safeguards, outside agents may soon be able to hack your personal assistant, commanding your AI to steal your credit card or make and direct large online purchases. Still, the professors believe that as the systems evolve, the safeguards can be strengthened, and these amazing tools can be safely used as a benefit to all of us. Used well, used as tools, these can be useful. And I think a lot of people can use them and can use them effectively to improve their lives if used properly as tools. Well, as tools, AI may become a benefit to mankind, but there are so many open questions about its impact on our lives. We'll do our best to keep you informed. Reporting at Carnegie Mellon University, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.